Hi everyone, welcome to the energy update for June 2021. Wow, <laughs> what a year we're having. Okay, so tapping into um, the beautiful energies of this world and getting some sort of invitation from Gaia, an invitation from the unseen realm to step up into the majesty that we are is something of a theme that has been going through um, many of my teachings over the last few years and it's come up loud and clear for this month of June. I just love these energy updates and thank you so much for your support and enjoyment of them and the beautiful feedback I get. And um, it, just, it just helps me turn up each month to share these things with you. Um, and it's just, it's really fascinating and interesting how each month seems to have its own flavor. And I was really uh, interested this morning when Gaia was saying there are many, we are in a time of immense transformation as a planet. I mean, we're under no illusion of that anymore. Um, transformation, change, uh, moving into unity consciousness, all of these things are being asked of every single person on the planet. I get information from the unseen realm, from our guides, from your guides, from um, our ancestors, from the angelic kingdom, from the animal kingdom. They're all saying the same thing. They're all saying, stick with it, go for it. Take each deep breath on purpose. Take each deep breath on purpose as much as you possibly can and enjoy the transformation that's occurring. Now, that's not always easy for everybody. There's all sorts of different changes on our material world and on our physical world that are, that are highly challenging, highly challenging. And so sometimes these updates are helpful because we get to understand that we're not alone and it's not just about us, that there are global uh, sensations, feelings, influences. Um, and we're all part of that, however much a sensitive or not we are, we're part of this change and we get affected by it big time. So the first thing that she was uh, sharing with us is that Earth is saying her pace, her actual pace has actually gone faster, faster than it's been recorded for quite some time, she was saying this morning. And due to that, it's going to make some of us feel as if we're just moving on a, a faster conveyor belt and we can't actually keep up. And this is really interesting because I think some of the lockdowns that we've experienced due to the pandemic um, have sort of made people slow down. And out of that slowing down has as we've, we've thought about what it is that we want out of life. And as we're coming out of this part of it, um, before our next, you know, wave that, that seems to be around us, it's like, it's like we're making decisions on, actually, do you know what? I really liked this bit and I liked that bit and I didn't like that bit. So we've got clarity. We've got much clearer about what it is we want. So June is a month where we can start to actually um, kind of like talk about really the clarity of the way in which we want to live and work. It becomes much clearer, clearer and clearer and clearer. We've got some major events with eclipses again and various things going on planetary wise, which all enable us to um, think about new beginnings. So this coming out of um, some lockdown periods is enabling us to get clarity on what we want in life and um, the speed we ran at before was one that was out of control for many. The speed that Earth Mother is talking about now is motivation. So she's, she's talking about going at a faster speed herself. So we get motivated to put into action anything that we're now clear about that used to be muddy ground or we didn't even give ourselves that option. It's like many of the companies in the world have decided they're not going to go back to office based as a, as a, as a general thing. Some are, 
but some aren't. They're saying, do you want to work from home for a few days a week or whatever it is? So flexibility is starting to come into play. And that's what this transformation is all about. It's about freedom. It's about freedom to actually be the leader in your own life and to have that adult relationship with yourself and to make those decisions and to actually make them happen, to get clear about what they are so you can put those into play. So all of this transformation, you'll find resistances perhaps within yourself and some people around you to this change. And that's OK. We need a really big dollop of compassion and kindness for that when we're going through it ourselves or we witness it in another. But freedom is, is the ticket. It's on the menu for our future. So it's moving from wherever you are now into a freedom state. So freedom of mind, freedom of emotions, whichever way you can do that. OK, so she's saying it's going faster and therefore she will the energy. You will start feeling a bit motivated to get some of these things on the go. For those that don't feel that and you're thinking, oh, no, I still feel very lethargic. I really just feel like heavy and well that's okay too if that's you go with it we're being asked by my cosmic guides to actually accept to let go of the need to do or be anything other than that which you are so we're being asked to just accept and love what is so to love your yourself in whatever state you're in it's not forever you're in a transformation time this transformation time as well, it's also throwing up relationships and friendships and groups. And many people I've been speaking to recently and Gaia this morning was saying it's OK that if some of those groups now feel they're speaking a different language to you or it's just that we're all transforming. We're all changing in this great transformation and awakening in life. And we're all doing it at our own unique pace. So. It's just that we're faster than some and slower than others. It's like it's like making a decision on a play. You go to see a play and you're allowed backstage and you see backstage people half dressed, undressed, changing, frantic, things breaking, putting back together again, getting things ready. And you're going to make an opinion. You're going to make um, a view on the play from only seeing backstage. They're in transformation. They're changing, ready for the next act. When really we need to be in a seat in the audience that gives us that perspective of space and freedom and time to deliberate, to see the whole play as it's meant to be. So we haven't got the perspective yet. We haven't been through this. It, it, in that sort of analogy, we, that's where we are. We're all backstage making the changes, doing the stuff. Some people are sitting there absolutely shattered. Other people are like, yeah, let's get to it. Let's get changed and get on there and do our bit and everything in between. You know, we've got to make the transformation of actually getting on the stage and playing our part next over the next few years and at some stage or other we get to be the people who can um, be the change, play the game and be the watcher, be the witnesser of it at the same time, be the audience. We get to do it all guys, we get to have the freedom to do it all. So you know, if you're having to make decisions now, if you're if you're if your friendships are changing a bit, if your groups are changing, it's like, remember, that's all you're seeing of it at the moment is this great flux of change. So be kind to yourself. Don't be too harsh to judge others, to judge yourself on finding a change unpalatable just at the moment because you've just got the view of backstage. Give it a bit more time. Give it a little bit more loving compassion. Bring that self-compassion to yourself more. And then let's see what the next act actually brings. Hey, just it's just like, like Matilda says, just take a chill pill, just chill out for a bit and then approach life from that chilled, 
moving, freer perspective rather than the tightness of having control or wanting things to be different. It brings us into the um, idea of the lifestyle that Gaia was talking to me about this morning, which is about loving what is. Finding, going to the next stage and finding whatever is there in front of you, however chaotic, weird, different, strange, scary it is to love whatever is in front of you. Okay. So as well as these friendships and things that are um, transforming, some of us will get, and I'd love to, to know your comments in the field below, please, please join in this conversation about a feeling of completeness as part of this change. When, you, when you've changed enough and there's transformation, it doesn't all come at once. It's like parts and aspects of that soul start to actually formulate in a different way, in a different harmonic, a different pattern. And we're noticing now that some of these parts of us oof, are giving us a feeling of, of sincere completeness. And it's not the whole of us that are complete. We already understand that there's still a lot more stuff to learn and change and go with. But watch out, please, for those aspects of your soul that you think, oh, I feel really good about that. I feel really complete in that area of my life at this moment in time. Because that completeness, what it gives you is an expanded awareness of yourself in the bigger picture. And in so doing, by reaching that, it's much easier to feel that completeness in other areas of your life. So Guy was saying, watch out for those, because as well as all of the fast, chaotic stuff, there is the sense of completeness that's also part of that. Now, there's a big need this month as well for a rise in a real yearning and a need to be connected to others. So as well as the changes of groups and friendships and people, there's a yearning, a need to be with others, to be, yeah, for the groups to gather, for the groups to gather, to come on in, to come home to self, to each other. So um, again, that's something that you will be selective with and um, enabled by and really enjoy it, guys. When there's a yearning and you manage to meet and you get together in your soul family groups, whatever they are, when we meet in ours, there's something there for everybody that's much deeper than we've had before. It's like a deepening of our belonging that's happening. So the more yearning you have of that, the more deepening of belonging that you will get from it. So that's a real goodie as well. Um, Oh, yeah. So again, trust. So she's saying the truth is going to come out more and more and more, both in our own lives and in everybody's lives and politically and health wise and in every area of our life. So she's saying trust, 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 trust. There is a bigger plan. She reminded me hugely this morning that there's a bigger plan of the universe that we belong to, that we've agreed to as souls to come down in this human form at this time to play our part, to play our part in this great play of life. There's a bigger, bigger plan. So she's saying just trust in that bigger plan, especially those of us that feel sometimes that we're being tossed about by the rivers of change and we can't get to the side and whichever way we go, we're just being tossed by. She said, just enjoy the tossing for what it is. <laughs> she's saying point your feet downstream and just let the river actually hold you. Why don't you relax into that? Relax into that rhythm and let the river guide you, meander through uh, the river's pathway. When we feel billowed about by the air, instead of resisting it and trying to go the other way, why don't we surrender to what is? Love that and enjoy the freedom of that new experience. And the experience is the same, you know, if, if we're in a river and we're, we're actually being, you know, tossed about by the, the storms in the sea, or we just relax into the storm, it's still a storm. How we actually receive that experience is totally different from resistance to surrendering to what is and then finding something beautiful when we step beyond that. 
So that's something she wants you to um, be aware of. And she says, last but not least, uh, to remain open. Please remain open, open-hearted, open-minded, open, open arms to life. She says, remain open to the goodness that life is. Remain open to the goodness that life is. And she's saying there's a magnificent force in June, a magnificent force of healing. And the more we can let go, of what's already gone. The more we can surrender to what no longer suits us, the more we can float on the rivers of life. So they deliver us to the bank of opportunity in a way we could never get to ourselves from our own perspective. The more we understand the goodness that's ready to be delivered. <laughs> I don't know whether you heard that or not, but there's a huge thunderclap. There's sheep and cows the other side of this hedge <laughs> chatting away on the video. And it's raining. <laughs> We've had a good week of dry weather, beautiful sunshine. Tomorrow, another week is due to be gorgeous sunshine. I sit down to share this with you and it's the only time it's raining. <laughs> now that is a perfect example, a perfect example of what Gaia is talking to us about. Do I see that as a problem? Or do I surrender to what is and enjoy a dance in the rain to the rhythmic music of the thunder as the clouds do their thing? The choice is ours, guys. I know which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> and I bet you do too, if you know me. <laughs> so lots of love, guys. Lots going on this month. Do let me know what your opinions are and experiences are as the month goes on. I will answer all that you write. Lots of love, everybody. Bye for now.